so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to customize your fl studio so if you are like me and you like customizing things to your liking you're going to find this video helpful first of all i'm going to show you how to change the theme of fl studio to something different and also i'm going to show you how to change the background so as you can see i have an anime style background here because i like anime and also i don't like the default fl studio wallpaper so i changed it so before i do that i'm going to set this or change this to the default setting and walk you through how to do it step by step so as you can see this back to the default setting so if you don't have a problem with this it's fine you know you can just leave it like this but for me i like to customize it so fl studio has an option to change the theme so all you have to do is click on the option and go to general settings and then click on theme so you see a bunch of presets here that you can try so we have the dark and you also have the carbon so you have a lot of presets here that you can try so you have a lot of presets you can try this preset so there is also a white one or a pink one you know for people that are into this type of color so the cool thing about this setting or this option is that you can also customize it to your liking so if you don't like some of the colors you know you can change it you can also make some adjustments you can change the hue and you can change the saturation to make it pop I can also change the brightness so you can do a lot with this and you can change the contrast you can also change the color of the mute and the selection and the highlight so this is the mute so if i want to change the color i'll just click on it and then change it to something like purple and click on accept so as you can see the color has changed and you can also change the color of the step sequencer so you can change it to whatever you like you can change it to yellow you can change it to purple you can change it to white and so on and so forth so me personally i like the citrus preset so this is what it looks like so this is the citrus preset this is one the one i normally use so the next thing we can do is change the background so if you want to change the background of fl studio all you have to do is go to view and then click on background so you can set the image wallpaper you know by choosing your picture or a wallpaper that you downloaded online or anything or you can set it you know to a dynamic wallpaper or you can set or you can change the background color to whatever you like but i'm not going to choose any of these two options because i have like a wallpaper that i like that i want to set i want to change it to so all you have to do is click on set image wallpaper if you want to customize it to your own liking click on set image wallpaper and then go to where you saved your wallpaper so for example for me i have it in a folder here so i'm just going to find it and then there's the wallpaper so this is like the anime stuff that i had in the beginning of the video and just double click on it and you have changed the wallpaper so i think there's a particular ratio i think there's a particular size of picture that you have to download so that you will not get something that is oversized or something that is undersized or something that doesn't look good so i'm going to leave that on the screen so another way that you can customize your fl studio is by changing the two bar here so if you don't like the way it looks all you have to do is go to view and then click on two bar and then you can change it to you know anyone that you prefer so if you like it compact you can change it to compact or if you don't like this one all you have to do is go to a view click on two bar and then you can change it to a single line something like this so the downside to this is that you're going to lose some of the you know two bar options that you have but if you're like me and you don't normally use them 
you can also go for this and if you made a mess or you don't like it all you have to do is go back to view and click on toolbar and then select the default so i hope you got value from this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching